The Prime Minister is championing a new regional trade and diplomatic grouping to be forged by Australia. Kevin Rudd wants a pan-Asian body bigger than APEC, bringing China, the US and India to the table. But the concept has met a lukewarm response here. The opposition says the government risks being seen to lecture Asia as it campaigns for the new institution. The summit's now a memory. But Kevin Rudd has a new 2020 vision. The scope of changes in our region means, I believe, we must begin to act now. The Prime Minister last night unveiled his plans for a new regional alliance, the Asia-Pacific Union. It's a partnership modelled on the EU and aims to take on free trade, terrorism and energy security. Issues that apparently reverberate in Wollongong and southern Tasmania. People in my electorate will be have been sitting back and they've been watching China and India progress. In my area, the initiatives that Kevin Rudd's talking about with the Asia-Pacific uh, community is an initiative I know will be very, very welcome. Part of the opposition says the government's attempt at regional power broking is jumping the gun. I think Mr Rudd needs to be very careful that he doesn't get ahead of himself in lecturing Asia. That announcement was quite extraordinary. There was no mention even of climate change being part of that great vision for the Asia region. While the Prime Minister is thinking globally, his government is acting locally. On World Environment Day, it's accelerating the phase-out of old carbon-burning technologies in favour of energy-saving devices. The ban on incandescent light bulbs will now start in November, a year ahead of schedule, and energy labels for new televisions will become mandatory next year. Then we will see significant reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, some 20% or even more. That is a fantastic reduction in greenhouse gas emissions as a consequence of all of us taking these kinds of actions. The opposition is also going green. Brendan Nelson has announced he will introduce a bill to overturn the government's budget decision to means test solar panel rebates. He'll find an unusual ally in the Senate. The solar coalition between the Conservatives, the Greens uh, and potentially some uh, independents in this parliament fighting to get that solar um, rebate put back onto the agenda. A green team power scheme. Bronwyn Herbert, ABC News, Canberra.